Hello, my name is Letitia and I'm a trainee in the Human Resources Unit. I'm a trainee at Eurojust with the Genocide Network Secretariat. At the Events and Logistics Unit. I'm a trainee in the Corporate Affairs Unit. At the Deep Network Secretariat. I'm a trainee at Eurojust within the Legal Affairs Unit. It's thrilling since you have the chance to be involved in the work of the agency in terms of uh, doing research, participating in meetings uh, and get involved in projects. Challenging and rewarding in equal parts. From the very first day you are given significant responsibility and autonomy within the team and you are expected to perform all kind of tasks. My first day was interesting. I had a meeting with HR show original of my diploma, certificate and so on. And then I got to meet with my head of unit in person. I learned a lot. It was an amazing networking opportunity and I got to be part of the organizational process from the beginning till the end. Was to have a direct experience in a multicultural place. I wanted to work in the human resources field in an EU agency. Getting acquainted with the work of Eurojust and the JIT Network Secretariat. To gain experience in the workings of an EU agency, particularly in the field of transnational organized crime. To work with the Genocide Network Secretariat and to gain insight into the perspective of prosecuting international crimes on the national level. You have to apply online through the recruitment tool of Eurojust. You fill a form with your personal data, educational background, work experience, languages you speak, and of course, your motivation to apply. I saw the positions advertised on social media, and I applied for the five months traineeship that started in October. I was checking my email every day, and it was great to get invited to an interview. I prepared by checking the Eurojust website and tried to learn as much as possible about the Genocide Network Secretariat. I was so happy to be selected. Something to double check before applying for a traineeship is your eligibility. This means you are a national of a new member state or a candidate country, you have at least a B2 level of English, and you're a recent university graduate from a bachelor's or master's program. I thought a lot about what to put in this form. I looked at the vacancy for COA and emphasized the experience I had that related to that profile. Before the interview, try to do your research on Eurojust website, like subscribe the Eurojust newsletter. I suggest you to come often to the office to get the most of the experience. Be proactive. Take advantage of internal trainings and development opportunities. Learn as much as possible from your team and your colleagues. Employees at Eurojust, they really, really care about newcomers and interns. Finding a house in The Hague can be quite time investing. You might need to spend time researching and viewing different uh, options before finding the right one for you. The most challenging part was the weather. It was not easy to get used to it, but in winter, instead of going to the gym, you just bike against the wind. <laughs>